47. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. This is such a powerful verse. Now, we just saw in John 20, verse 30, 31, that by believing you would have life. And here's a great parallel where he's also preaching to his disciples, explaining the power and the reason of the resurrection. And what's he say? That repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. I do want you to understand here, he doesn't say that repenting of your sins would save you. He says, yeah, you need to turn to Christ and what would happen to your sins? They would be forgiven. He doesn't say stop your sins to be forgiven. He says turn to Christ, understanding he died for your sins, and this is what we preach to a lost world. This is so important. Go back to John chapter 20. This is the number one issue. I do want you to understand this. Listen, we go soul winning every week. I don't preach the gospel to the church uh, family that often, but yet I do often include it almost perhaps in every single sermon. It is so important. The most important doctrine of the Bible is salvation by faith alone, once saved, always saved. This is the absolute most important doctrine. In fact, in as, he, as Paul wrote to the church in Corinthians, he says, For I determined not to know anything among you, save repent of your sins for a better life. Is that what that verse says? No, he says, save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. I want you to understand this. And I just touched on repentance recently, that sometimes repentance means sorrowful, right? The kid gets caught in the cookie jar, and they're sorry. Now, are they sorry because they offended their mom or because they got caught? We're not talking about that, okay? But sometimes when somebody turns, it's because they feel bad about the situation. Some people will turn to God because they feel bad about the life they've lived or they feel bad about the future they know they have in hell. But salvation of the soul happens one way, by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel is good news. It is not sorrowful news. You do not have to be crying to get saved. The problem is people cannot discern between the flesh and the spirit. Too many times people get confused. And this is why I have determined among you to know nothing else but Jesus Christ and Him crucified. When we go out preaching the gospel, listen, I want to see, just as we've had, visitors come from soul winning to come to church. I've had people, I've had a lady ask me one time, will you disciple us? My, my, my boyfriend's getting out of jail and we need to turn our life around. Amen. Thank God for a willing heart to turn to God. But you know what? We go out soul winning to preach Jesus Christ and Him crucified because believing on the Lord Jesus Christ is the most important doctrine. And we try not to muddy the waters. I preached about the whole soul goal a little while back that once we get their soul saved and it, it's eternally secure, that we would also like to help them get their body in church and their uh, mind in the Bible and their life turned around for God's sake. But you understand, we're, we're really careful when we preach the gospel that we don't confuse them. You do know there are two ways to be saved, right? There's two salvations. There's saving your soul by faith righteousness. And then the second is saving your life by works righteousness. You can save your life, your body, and preserve your existence on the earth by obeying God's commandment. But that will not get you into heaven. It will prevent a correction. This is so important. This is foundational. This should not be uh, uh, muddied. This should not be distorted. And this should not be confused. We preach salvation by faith alone because this is the purpose of the gospel. It's the purpose of the death, burial, and the resurrection. That's what we see in John, and that's what we just saw in Luke chapter 20. So the first point was the purpose of the resurrection is salvation by believing. You must turn to the Lord, believing that the Son of God died for your sins. Then you'll be indwelled with the Holy Spirit. And when you're indwelled with the Holy Spirit, then you would have the power to become, uh, to have power over the sin and to uh, step out of that lifestyle of sin and walk in righteousness with God. And so that's so important. And that's the foundation that Jesus is laying with his disciples here. My second point is we're going to talk.